might have had um, in an attempt to help Morning, YouTube done. Coffee done. We're just watching Molly's amazing videos. You should definitely check her out. She's a one amazing piece of YouTuber, Molly Bark. I'll link her channel down in the description. She's just absolutely amazing. Trust me, guys. Today, we're going to be looking at why you need to print your photos. Oh, trust me, it's going to be cool. Let's go. If you look around my house, for example, living room or bedroom, you will see I have many, many printed photos because a printed photo has much more value than just digital. I know nowadays everything's digital, Instagram, Facebook and whatever other website, everything's on the screen, everything's LED, backlit, bright and nice looking. But you don't really understand your photography until you have printed some of the photos because you might end up with totally different results. Looking at the photo, oh man, this was looking really great on the screen. But in a photo, actual printed photo, it looks like crap. I, if I would like, if I would like to sell this to someone, this is no good. I need to change something in my photography. Or the other way, you might print some of the photos that doesn't really look so good on the screen, but they look really great printed. Oh man, that's just like surprise every single time when you print a photo. And if you can find a photo that you really like and you print it and you still really like it, that means that's a great photo. We're gonna go to the nearest uh, Kodak printing shop, whatever you call that today. And we're gonna be printing a couple of photos. I hope we're gonna get some custom sizes because I kinda like to get some big prints. Well, sort of big prints for me. I know this cool Kodak Express uh, photo printing place in Kirkcaldy in High Street that I always go and print my photos. Um, I, I've always printed like 16 by 12 inches and stuff like that, some panoramic shots as well, like 20 by 8 or stuff like that. But I've never really asked them about custom sizes, so I would like to take this photo, new size, like something really big, something like 25 inches to something, I don't know. Because this is the photo from the vlog where me and Nex, when we went up to Arthur's seat, climbed the mountain. And uh, yeah, that photo is kind of in my heart, I don't know why, but I kind of like the composition and the feel about it. And like, sometimes you just need to hang it up, I don't know, in your office or someone else's office or print it as a gift to sort of, I don't know, inspire others or inspire yourself or a darker day when you wake up and you don't feel like doing things, you're gonna look at this photo and you're gonna think, yeah, that's cool, I can do this, let's go! Good day for photos today, with all that nice light oh, upstairs. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, you know, softer with yeah, all yeah. the clouds. Yeah. Matthew set his alarm last Sunday very early, went up to the Devil's Pool, put up an upper foil and went into the waterfalls and he was absolute. I think he, I think he got the heat back in here on Tuesday, didn't he? Yeah, so, just to get a photograph. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, bye. They usually give you a photo in like a bubble wrap, but I guess this time I've made so big print that they actually gave me like a fancy box. So, as I mentioned, yeah, really nice people. The photo quality are really good when you're printing with them. And one tip I can give you, if you want to print your photos, and you do your edits, and it looks really good. Hi! And it looks really good on your screen, then you should uh, make it slightly brighter than you would like when you look in the screen, because when you're gonna print the photo, it's gonna be slightly darker. That's kinda weird, I'm crossing the street and there are people that I know in the car waving at me. <laughs> so yeah, you just need to make it slightly brighter than you would like it. Uh, because when you're gonna print it, it's gonna be darker. That's a that's a one tip uh, you can take with me. I was so excited. I was so excited about this photo that I completely forgot my phone at home. And if you know me, 
you know, I don't, I don't go anywhere. I sit in the toilet with my phone in my hands, and like I literally go anywhere I can with my phone, and I have it everywhere and all the time. But I was like, oh, this photo is gonna be so cool, and I've just grabbed my camera, my wallet, and my USB stick, and there we go. <laughs> my phone is at home, so there's nothing else to do but vlog, I guess. Ah, oh, now there's something on my lens. We're home. to print your photos of course first of all it's gonna come as a great memory like look at that I mean it looks cool it looks awesome and uh, second of all it could be a great gift for someone else for example as a reminder of a nice adventure you've had together or whatever has really beautiful happened in your life together you can just make a photo and freeze and save this memory for the rest of your life of course, I know uh, the digital is all over the place, but you need to understand the real value in photography is when it's printed out. You can see all the detail. You can remember how you felt at that time when, you, when the photo was taken. It's really, truly amazing what one single photography can do. And purely from the business perspective, if you're someone who might sell your photos, once you printed them out, you're like, oh man, this looks nothing like in a backlit LED LCD screen. I mean, this is bad, this is wrong. I really need to work on some certain things to make the photo prints come to life if you're someone who really wants to sell the photos. But most of all, personally for me, a photo print, for example, like this, is gonna come for me like a great inspiration that's gonna keep me going. As I said, when you wake up in a dark day and you're like, I don't feel like doing this, you're just gonna look at this photo and like, yes, get up, keep going, you can do it. This is gonna be a great inspiration for me, for everyone else who's gonna see the photo. Sometimes this is what you need to keep going in this YouTube environment. Like we are building this, com this community and I'm building my channel. I want you all to be here all happy and see how I'm doing. I want you to succeed as well. And sometimes tiny bit of inspiration is all it takes. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's been almost a month since I'm doing this YouTube and we're almost at, well, I'm saying almost, we're at 70 subscribers right now. We're, we're kind of close to 100. So that would be cool if by end of February we could be on 100 subscribers. That would be really awesome. Make sure to check around for more videos and yes, I will see you guys in the next one. Shoo.